all Rusty RV TV, welcome. I'm right down here at the end of Plamosa Road. Real close to uh, US, or not US, AZ-95. No host here either. They got these little uh, storyboards over here. Let's pull up, see what's up. Normally the host sets up right here. Right there where the rocks are and that little sign. So, nothing yet. What is it? Middle of October. Probably by November, I bet. Okay. Let's check out the maps. Check out the map. Oop. Sorry. Had to clean the dirt off the lens. Okay, here's the map. We are here. There's 95. That's the end of Plumosa. We came in right there in that trail. Cool. There's the Peace Trail. Nice. So now how we get back? <laughs> I don't know. Looks like it right across the highway is a set of trails. I think, I think. What's this map show me? Not much. It's a nice map though. BLM puts out good maps, they're just hard to get a hold of. Very hard. That shows all, there's High Jolly, Dome Rock, Roadrunner, La Poses, and Plumosa. There's a better look, okay. So, if I go down the highway just a little bit, right there, we're here. Well, when in doubt, launch a drone. I don't need no map. I got a drone. <laughs> that abandoned trailer has been there for a few weeks. I've noticed it going up to Parker. Right there is AZ-95. Yay. That road takes you up to Parker. Swing back around. There it is. That's how we're going to... Well, no, it's down low. Far. we got to get on the other side of that bridge here. We'll have to follow the power lines. See that trail right there with the power lines? We'll have to follow that. Looks like about a quarter mile. I kind of remember seeing a gate to BLM gate. That's looking off towards the quartzite. We're not that far, maybe like six miles. Seems farther, but it's not. But cutting across that other side, we'll end up over by that gun range. Back behind that state trust land and all that. I kind of know that area. Well, cool. Let's swing around see if we got any campers out here. In a few weeks, this place will be packed. This is my favorite BLM area, Plumosa Road. Goes down a few miles. Well, we were just down there. We were down at the other end. Where the Peace Trail was. Okay, so we'll follow the power line, that little road there. And we'll cut over 95 right past that bridge. Isn't that drone perfect? When in doubt, fly your drone. We're going to have a lot of fun this winter. <laughs> fall and winter with this uh, buggy and uh, this drone yeah that old trailer it's been sitting there a while someone just dumped it you know BLM has to clean up all that mess okay for years I've seen ATVs on this trail here along the power lines 
So we should just have to go past that wash. We'll have to cross the highway. And we should be good shape. Heading back towards the quartzite. Yay! Boy, the temperature's really heating up. Well, this is getting a little rocky. Ow. <laughs> Hang on, we'll make it. I had to put it in four-wheel drive. All right, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Knock the camera up. <laughs> Yee-hoo! We made it. Okay, should be right up here. We ought to cross uh, over the highway. And I can see it. It's like a cattle grate in the entrance with the BLM markers. I've known people that have come out here and metal detected many, many times. I'll show you here in a sec. There it is. Because they keep all this fence. See, there's a grate. Because this used to be, probably still is, open range for cattle. There's a BLM, day use only. And for years, I knew people that would park right there along the highway. And they'd come out here and metal detect in that wash that we just crossed. And they would find nuggets. That was a good place to metal detect. All right, well, I'll get down here a little ways and we'll fly the drone again. Might as well. See where we're going, see where we've been. Still flat as a pancake on this side. Wow, that's a big rut. Now we're getting in some wash areas. I'm going to stay to the left. That other trail doesn't look like it goes anywhere. See, here's a wash. You could metal detect here easy. Easy peasy, right there. What else we got? Oh yeah, water runs through here. You know, people ask me a lot, where does all the flood waters go when it leaves quartzite? We're driving through it, it dissipates out here, just spreads out. A little farther up, there's gonna be a huge wash that we'll cross. And that's part of the Tyson Wash drainage system. Hey, check this out. Look at that. Bet it's full of gold. All right, let's stop here. Launch a drone, take a break a minute, get a drink of water. Look around, ain't much to see, <laughs> except flat. Not even a cactus out here. All right, up we go. Look at the circles, people spinning out in the dirt. See that other trail? Doesn't look that heavily traveled. That's where we're going. Okay, there's that wash. We're going to cross that, and then we'll be over by that gun range. And right down there, that's the north end of Quartzite right there. Swing back around. See, oh, look at the washes. So you can metal detect all this area. That's looking right back at 95. It's like up towards Parker. Cool. Well, let's roll. OK, 
Okay, someone asked in the comments to show the buggy a little bit. I'll do a total video on just the buggy. I'll take a quick look at it. There it is. Like I said, it was a demo model, used, new used. Hey, check out the flag, RV or TV. There's a lady on eBay that makes those. And it's got all the goodies. It's a pro, the suspension, it rides real smooth. Actually, it rides smoother in the van. But I'll do a whole video on this thing. Show you how the bed tilts and all that. Okay. Let's get this thing rolling. I've had it up to 41 miles an hour on the street. They say 45 is tops it out. Truthfully, I'm not in a hurry out here. All them racing buggies, they can have it. Hey, what's up here? I see something. Looks like a tank. Huh. Wash. Gold. Another wash. Look at this. Well, there's a fence. Looks like a corral. Look at all the tire tracks. I haven't smell a fire. Look at that old stone tank. Looks like there's a well out here or something. Someone's been here. Look at that. There's a fire. Huh. I know this is open range. I bet it was for cattle back when. Look, there's a trough in here. Had to be for cattle with the fence. Look at that. Look how they use sticks to hold the wire up. I don't see no hoof prints. This hasn't been used in a long time. Bullet holes in that metal tank. <laughs> Interesting. Check it out. That fire's still hot. That log's still burning. And look at the trash they left. They left all their empty beer cans and bottles for someone else to clean up. Yeah, that's not good. That fire's still hot. That log is still smoldering. Look at the stonework on that thing. Old cistern or something. Plastic tank. Huh. Well, drone time. All right, up we go. Well, there's concrete. I mean, they had to have trucks to haul that stuff out here. So this must be open range. Right there is that wash. Right on the other side of there, there'll be that road that'll take us down to back into quartzite. Okay, pan down. Let's look in them tanks. They look empty. There's a concrete slab. So this was used for something. I bet people still ride horses out here and stuff. When you wonder where all the water goes during heavy rains out of quartzite, right here. Flows out here and dissipates. This is it. Alright, well, let's take one last look inside that tank. Because <laughs> we can. Yeah, looks empty. Alright, let's rock. Time to go.
that's pretty good. I wish I would have had a trash bag with me. I would have picked up them cans. I'll come back out here another time. If they're still there, I'll get them. That's one thing. I, I need to carry some trash bags, start picking up stuff. What a shame they left their beer cans and bottles there. That log was still... Oh, look, here's the wash. This is where all the water dissipates out when quartzite floods. Comes roaring out here. Look how deep the sand is. You could probably metal detect, but boy, you'd have a hard time in all this salty sand. But you never know. Probably a lot of junk in there, too. Trash. Look at all the growth. Like a little racetrack, huh? <laughs> See, this isn't very wide. You'd have a tough time in a Jeep. You'd scratch the heck out of it. Hey, we made it. We're through the wash, looks like. I bet right up here is that road. Here we go, we're heading to Quartzite. See, we're turning towards the south. How cool. Well, what a fun little adventure. I mean, you can just venture out here. There's all kinds of trails. I am definitely downloading some of those uh, trail maps tonight on apps. What I read about them, you can actually download the map and you don't even need the internet to use them. I could bring my iPad out here too. See, this is turned into that road. We're on that road. Forget the name of it. But we'll end up by that church. I bet that gun range is right up here too. Yeah, I can scoot along pretty good on this. We're doing about 30. Up, oh, see the gun range. Looks like they added some stuff up here to it. This is where we were a week or so ago out here in the van. Huh, look, air compressor tank, an old couch chair that'll shoot up anything but anyone can use it it's public land <laughs> here's where I almost got the van stuck look how soft I can't believe I drove the van through this yikes won't do that again This really floods here, I bet. Then the Quartzite Golf Course is on both sides here. Pretty quick, there'll be a little gate. We'll go through and we leave BLM, then we're on State Trust Land. And that looks like it's right here. See the wood sign there? There should be a fence. Here it is. Okay, we're leaving BLM right here. That's it. Now we're on state land. Now we're there on the left is the church. That aligns church. We're back in Quartzite. Cool. We did it. Yay. Took a ride on the Peace Trail. Clear up the Plumosa Road. Up back through on this side to Tyson Wash. We're back in town. Down description, there's all kinds of ways to support the channel. Buy a cup of coffee, click on links, shop on Amazon, get a t-shirt, coffee mug. 
all helps the channel grow. Thank you for all that have done it already. Okay, we're on Tyson Street. I'm gonna head over to Central and go home. Tomorrow's Monday, should be heading down to Yuma, hopefully. All right, there's the quartzite sign, Central Ave. Back in queue. All right, this week, road trip. Talk soon. <laughs>